let's take a look at more on slope. Um, kind of a small, small little lesson here. It kind of goes hand in hand with the previous one. Um, a lot of books actually put those together. But let's take a look at our first problem. Let's have a start a new page here. There we go. So it tells us it passes through the point negative 3, negative 5, and it's parallel to that line. Parallel to negative 4x minus 7. Okay, so the instructions say use the given conditions to write an equation for each uh, line slope intercept form. Passes through that point and parallel to that line. Well, if you remember our steps from last time, our st first step was to find m. Well, our first uh, sub step within that is to write the given line in slope intercept form. Now you might be looking at that thinking, well, it's already in slope intercept form. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, this one is, but uh, not all of them are. So I'm giving you the steps that should work 100% of the time. Uh, so this one's already solved for y. That slope intercept form is you solve for y. Our next sub step is to identify the slope. Well, if it's in slope intercept form, your slope is the number for your x which would be negative 4. And then our third sub-step. Parallel lines have the same slope. So I have the same slope. So they told us that it's parallel to this line and we found a slope of that line and the parallel lines have the same slope. So m is equal to negative 4. Now other steps are still the same. Let me write it down. Step 2, m into y equals mx plus b. Plug in the given point for x and y. And the m from step one and solve for B. Now up here this is our X and this is our Y so um, so M is equal to, or sorry Y is equal to negative 5 and X is negative 3 and m was negative 4 from step 1. So again, I plugged in my x and my y and the m from step 1, and now I'm going to solve for b. Well, negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. Take the 12 over the left side, becomes a negative 12, which gives us negative 17. And then step three, we're going to write our answer. Remember, we were wanting to find the equation line initially, so we combined together what we found in step one and step step two. Well, in step one, we said m was negative four, so we plug in negative four for m. And in step two, we found b was negative seventeen, so we'll plug in negative seventeen for the b. And our answer is y is equal to negative four x minus seventeen. I'm going to start a new uh, page on this so we can look, look at the next one. It passes through 3, negative 2, and it's perpendicular to 3x 
plus 7y minus 2 is equal to 0. And still the same instructions, find the equation of the line. So step 1, find m. Now the first sub-step within that, write the given line in slope-intercept form. Now these steps are specific to, you know, like first the first one is parallel lines and this one's where it's perpendicular to a line. Okay, so we got 3x plus 7y minus 2 equals 0. Slope-intercept form, we want to solve for y. So I take negative 2 to the right side and take 3x to the right side. So we've got 7y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Then divide everything by 7. And we get y is equal to negative 3 sevenths x plus 2 sevenths. <clears throat> well, our next sub step is to identify the slope. If your um, line is in slope intercept form, your slope is whatever numbers for your x. So the slope would be negative 3 sevenths. Then what we do is um, perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. So that means is we start with the slope from 1c ah, try it again start with the slope from 1b that was uh, the negative 3 sevenths we're going to write it in fraction form Now this one's already in fraction form, so we don't have to do anything. But if you had like, for example, 5, uh, you can always create a fraction member by putting it over 1. So it would be 5 over 1. Again, I'm giving you steps that should work 100% of the time. Then we're going to flip it. Top goes to the bottom, bottom goes to the top. That's the reciprocal part. Reciprocal means fraction flipped. And then we're going to change the sign. So change its sign. So it went from a negative 7 thirds to a positive 7 thirds. So the m we're trying to find is going to be 7 thirds. Now that seems like a lot there, but it becomes very simple once negative reciprocals clicks with you. Uh, assuming it's in fraction form, negative reciprocal. Flip the fraction, change the sign. Okay. Step two is still the same. We want to plug in the given point for x and y and plug in the m we just found into y is equal to mx plus b and solve for b. Well, I don't remember what x and y were, so let me go up here. They give us a point. Again, that's my x and that's my y. So negative 2 for the y. And m was 7 thirds. And I think x was 3 also. Plus b. Let me go double check that. Yep. And then we want to solve for b. Well, threes cancel, so we've got negative 2 is equal to 7 plus b. Take the 7 over the left side, it becomes a negative 7. And you get b is equal to negative 9. Now, step 3 uh, is to write your answer down. Well, m from uh, the first step we said was 7 thirds, so I got 7 thirds x, and b from step 2 was negative 9. So our answer is y is equal to 7 thirds x minus 9. Now one thing I want to mention, 
if we got um this right here if it's asking you to write it into general form standard form um, different books have different vari variations of this but uh, some things they do agree on is that you can't have any fractions so first thing you do is you multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the fractions so we get 2y is equal to and again if I multiply that by 2 actually let me go ahead and show it multiply everything by 2 so we got 2y is equal to x minus 4 now typically most books your beginning variable in alphabetical order which in our case would be x we want the number that's in front of it to be positive so we'll take the 2y over to the right side and it becomes x minus 2y minus 4 now every once in a while I run across a weird book that'll put the uh, negative 4 over on the other side so they'd have x minus 2y is equal to 4 um, so different variations personally I love slope intercept form for my class you leave everything in slope intercept form I'm happy um, but if you do see that in book that's that's what they're referring to and uh, short section that should be everything and it is